All right, in this boot camp, let's just jump right into tables and look at some examples of, of uh, what a table variable is. So we're going to do local people equals, and that's how you create a table. You just use these empty brackets. But let's go ahead and fill the brackets. We could actually uh, create it empty and then fill it later. But I'm going to create it and fill it at the same time. So let's do this. Okay, and inside this one, that's going to be Chelsea and Tom and Wanda and Jay. And you can see that these are all surrounded with quote marks. That's because they are, um, what are they? They are uh, strings. Okay, that's people. And let's just say this is ages. So if we wanted to... Uh, just do 49 we have to do a, a quote around that one because it's a, a string okay so here we have two tables actually uh, people uh, Jay Wanda Tom and Chelsea and ages 49 something 18 and 16 and so if we wanted to uh, print one of those out new print people and then do the second element of the people table which is going to give us let me clear this down here it's going to give us Wanda because this is the first element here's a second element third element fourth element in Lua arrays and things like that all start with one not zero like a lot of other programming languages so this is the first element this is the first element so if we wanted uh, the third age we could do ages three, run that, we get 18. So there's an example of how to uh, create some tables and hold some data. But let's go ahead and uh, make this a little bit cooler because tables can hold other tables. So this element is going to be a table This one's going to be a table, and so on. I'll speed this up while I'm uh, typing here for you. And let's go ahead and get rid of this table here. Now we have um, tables inside of tables. And because Lua doesn't really care about white space, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this so that you can actually see a little clear, more clearly what's what. Okay, so we have the outer table, people. And inside, we've got the first table, the second table, the third table, the fourth table. So if we want to pull something out of there, uh, say we want to get uh, Wanda's age, or what we know about Wanda's age, it's the second element. And since this is name equals Wanda and age equals that, we can do dot age. And that should print our question mark. So if we want to people to name, we get Wanda. We get Chelsea. Okay, so we can access any of any of the pieces of this table um, that easily. I'm not going to go into into tables uh, very deeply at all at this point. In fact, that's about all I'm going to do. But why don't you try something? Uh, local colors equals uh, purple, and I'm going to stop here. You go ahead and fill that out with two or three more colors and then down here uh, print colors and then put a put a number in there uh, some you know number three or four or two or whatever and see if it prints out the second color in your list here now remember to uh, close it with a with a, another bracket but put some other put some other values in here 
Remember, if it's a string, it has to have quotes around it. Uh, if it's a number, you could put you could put a color number in there uh, if you want. And uh, if it's just a number, it doesn't have to have quote marks. Separate them all by commas. Go ahead and play around with that. And uh, other than that, we're not going to get into tables more at this point because tables, like I said, tables are a really deep subject. Um, but this will we'll just skim the surface of it, and as we get more into coding the actual game, uh, we'll we'll get into tables a little bit more.